These were the scenes at the Western Wall today, where thousands of ultra-Orthodox men and women demonstrated against the presence of the controversial, pluralistic prayer group, Women of the Wall. The women were there to hold their monthly prayer session marking the start of the Hebrew month of Sivan. But as early as 6 a.m., droves of young men and women had descended on the holy site to try to disrupt the services. The women blamed the exceptional hostility surrounding them today on the involvement of Orthodox rabbis who called on followers to hold prayer rallies against the women. I'm saddened by what it's like here today. I came here the two previous months and it wasn't like this. I think it's a direct result of what I would describe as the irresponsible, arrogant call of the rabbis, the Orthodox rabbis, who are trying as they might to hold on to the power they once had, power that is slowly slipping away from them and which they clearly can't handle. This was the women's first service following a key court decision last month, allowing them to continue praying at the wall, wearing prayer shawls and tefillin, without fear of arrest by police. In fact, this time, the massive police presence was there to protect the women, and officers formed human chains and barricades around the protesters to keep them from reaching the group. The women held their two-hour prayer service in the Western Wall Plaza, wearing their religious items and praying and singing out loud, as is their custom. Much to the dismay of those women and men there, who emphatically don't share their beliefs. Some women in America have decided, unfortunately these are women who really, I am American, I know, they're not known in America, no one pays any attention to them. They got some money together, they made themselves a cause and made themselves famous. And that, that does not give them the right to change the laws of Judaism that we've practiced for 2,000 years. Knesset member Miri Rega from Likud, famous for her anti-African migrants remarks last year, took a more moderate approach one also espoused by the Jewish agency. If we were to properly prepare Robinson's Arch, we would already see a situation where the men pray separately, the women pray separately, and mixed worshippers would also pray separately. And this would solve the whole problem, because at the end we need a compromise. Would a compromise work? It was difficult to picture it in such a tense environment. The protesting youths occasionally got into shoving matches with police throughout the morning, and heckled and harassed the women by throwing water, hard candy and other objects at them, all in an effort to disturb their prayers. To lead them to safety, police had to form corridors and personally escort the women onto buses right outside the plaza. But the commotion did not seem to faze the women, who promised they would be back next month in full force for the prayer service, convinced of the justice of their cause and determined to win recognition of women's rights at the Western Wall following today's unprecedented service.